Hey everyone, Chris here. Time for the September camping trip. Van's all packed, it's time to go. Why don't you come on in? I got a spot right here for you. Well, I pulled into the park office. It's time to go up and see if I can check in, if they're open. If not, I'm just gonna go to the site. That little trip took you about a minute 43. It took me about 49 minutes. Uh, you can see the traffic was backed up at that toll booth and getting into town, you know, there was a little piece here and there where I had to go slow. There's a lot of spots where that speed limit goes down, but I took the scenic route. I was going to go a different route, but I figured it would look better the scenic route. I am going to take that same way back the other way because it's even better looking going in the opposite direction. But anyway, let me go check in and we'll be right back. Here we are. Just going to pan around behind me real quick and show you. There's a road here in front of me. It goes down to the rest of the site. And then this is our site right here. Now it seems like every year I come here, this is always different. This time the fire pits moved, the table over here is moved. Uh, you can see here's the pit and here's the grill. Last time, well at least last time I stayed here, I was set up over here at my tent. And then I had the kitchen in this area. So I'm probably going to go with the same method. I'll just put everything in this direction. Uh, I'll probably send up I could set the tent up over there too. I'm not really sure what I want to put it. See, the problem is, is my neighbors are right here. And I don't want to be too close to them. So the further away, the better. So I'll have to figure out where I'm going to set everything up. What I'm going to do now is, is get the van partially unloaded. The main thing that's going to come out is the tripod. So I can set it up and do another one of those time-lapse videos of me setting up everything. Take a look around the site here. See, I have the tent set up with a stool next to it, just to make it easy to get in and out of. And down on the bottom there, there's a queen size air mattress with sheets on it. And then I took a, a sleeping bag and just unzipped it and laid it on top open like that to act as a comforter and have a pillow in there. And the other thing in there is a just a little light when I hang from the ceiling. Behind us over here, we have the sunshade my tripod in it for later on and the table uh, chairs 
I got the fire going. I got a nice roaring fire going. I ended up using just a little bit of denatured alcohol after I built the wood and put the fire started in the bottom, just poured it on top, threw a lit rag on top, and poof, it instantly lit uh, the lower pieces. And within minutes, this is what I had. So it's definitely a nice, good fire. I'm gonna make sure all those coals jump into the middle here, and then at some point I'm gonna spread them out, put that grate on top, and start cooking my chicken. On the table over here, I already got a pot of the mac and cheese, good to go. I'm gonna start notching on that a little bit. I ended up having to use my tablet as a timer, it was just easier. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I forgot the camp soap and the sponge, so cleaning up's gonna be a little different. I don't have anything to really wash up great with, but I can make do with what I have. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get some food in me, and I'll be back later on. Good morning. Wish I could tell you last night went smoothly. There's some things, unfortunately, I forgot to bring, which uh, <laughs> turned out to be kind of funny. So I started getting a little cool, and I had shorts on, short sleeve shirt, and I said, "It's getting kind of cool. I should go ahead and put some long pants on." And I went, "Ah, oh, I forgot long pants. I forgot a sweatshirt." And then I looked around, and I found that I had some of these thermal, just these, you know, thin thermals with me. And at first I just found the bottom, so I said, well, at least I have the bottom, I can put that on. <laughs> and then luckily later on I found the top, but that, uh, that kind of stunk. It wasn't so bad. Um, these things do keep the heat in, so I wasn't terrible, but I wanted something like a hoodie, and I didn't have that, so I ended up taking a bandana and just tied it over my head, under my hat, just to cover my ears. Uh, on top of that, I may mention I forgot the sponge and the cam soap and my towel that I mentioned in the other video uh, that I had in a, in a set. And I just forgot to take it out of the bag that I was in and put it in the other bag. So I didn't bring that with me. So washing dishes last night was kind of fun. Um, so yeah, it was a fun night. And I was going to tell myself, bring a thermometer so when you cook the chicken, you know how to tell if it's done or not. And of course, I didn't even think of doing that before I left. So. The chicken sat there and sat there and sat there and it cooked and it was okay when it was done but it was just a little overcooked for my taste so um i didn't waste it but the thing is it's just one of those uh could have made the night a little bit better if that went smoother i guess but alas i still slept okay uh even though the air got out of my air mattress i tell you hey it was such a night um i don't know why i, I think the valve wasn't exactly tight but I got up earlier and put air back in it and closed it up real tight and then when I woke up after a, you know maybe another hour or two of sleep it was empty again so I guess I got a hole uh, the only way you can really take a look at that is when I get home and spray it with soapy water and just get it to see if I can get it to bubble I do have stuff to seal it with but it's, it's just one of those things that makes me laugh um, I already ate something. I'm going to make myself some eggs now in a minute. Just uh, I wanted to wait because my neighbors next to me over here just packed up and took their dog for a walk and they're going to be leaving when they come back. So I wanted to shoot this video while I had some time and uh, just me and the camera here, I guess it looks kind of weird if you walk by, but I guess other people who make YouTube videos are probably used to that by now. But anyway, you know, the whole thing about missing stuff like that. It's like no matter how much I make a list or really think about these things, this is, oh, let me make sure I don't forget this, don't forget that. I focus on that stuff and then I end up forgetting other things. So it's kind of funny. But luckily I had stuff to make do and I, I guess 
it's a good test for me to see, you know, if stuff like that does happen, what would I do to handle the situation? And I handled it well. It was just disappointing at first. I just remember here going, ah, just kind of raging at this, like going, I can't believe I forgot that stuff. Well, anyway, um, I'm just going to make myself something to eat again and probably pack up and go for a hike. I will bring the camera with me. I don't know how much video footage I'll get, but I'll probably do a bunch of pictures. I tend on going on a pretty lengthy hike. We'll see how far I get. With that, we'll see you later. And this is how you do scrambled eggs on a cast iron skillet. I'll give you a little update. I went on that hike earlier and came back and took a nice little nap outside actually. I ended up just uh, kicking my feet up on that table down there and just sat in that little bug free area and just uh, listened to the birds and the leaves rustling. And there was nobody around. Everyone was out on a hike or doing something else. And then I got up and grabbed some snacks and took a ride to Canopus Lake and just kind of hung out there for a little bit. There's a, a little peninsula you can walk around on and walk over some points onto that. And it, was, it was nice. I didn't take the camera with me, but uh, I didn't really feel like looking at the world behind the lens of a camera. I wanted to take it in for myself. But right now I have some, I guess, a late lunch. It's not quite 4 o'clock yet. Actually, it's not even quite 3.30 yet. It's uh, just about 70 degrees from last I looked. And it's, uh, yeah, it's been a nice day out today. It's somewhat cloudy, but that's not bad because then you get moments of shade. It seemed like before when I got up and went on the hike, I still had the uh, long underwear on underneath and it, it, it got hot pretty quick. I didn't realize until I got out into the sun, it was pretty hot, but in the shade, you wouldn't notice. But at that rate now, it's gonna be dark, maybe about another hour and a half, I'd say two hours tops because it seems like it's uh, getting er darker earlier in this particular location. The sun stops you know, shining pretty much because it cuts over the tree line right around that time. So I'll uh, probably be hanging out for a little while and uh, probably going to get to bed a little earlier tonight than last night. I thought I'd better to bed too, early, uh, too late, but I just want to get up early in the morning and kind of get ready to get out of here because I got tickets to see Jeff Dunham. My wife and I actually are both going. It's going to be at Eisenhower Hall, and I'm really excited, so I kind of want to get home and get cleaned up to get ready to watch that. But anyway, I'll have another check-in some point later on um, when I have something interesting going on. All right, it's just past 9 o'clock, Friday night. This is the last night I'll be here. I already ate dinner. I got everything cleaned up, put away in the van, so I'm actually going to make a quick getaway in the morning. All I'm going to do is basically take down the... Uh, shelter that's just behind me here throw it inside take the tent throw it inside the bedding is going to get put on one of the shelves and I'll straighten it out when I get home um, I kind of want to get home in the morning and get cleaned up and get ready to go to the show later on in the afternoon and since I'm still off the day after you know I have plenty of time to worry about all this fine little details in here uh, I did end up making the angel hair and the tilapia for dinner it was actually pretty good I wish I brought some Parmesan cheese or something to throw in it. That would have made it taste a little bit better. But, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. Um, I've already had a, you know, a couple of beers, of course, so I'm ready to pretty much hit the sack. 
Um, I have to say it's pretty breezy tonight. It seems that every time I come the second night, it's always breezier than the first night. And tonight's no different. And of course, it's breezier, which means it's cooler. And of course, I still have the same predicament of not having long pants or a sweatshirt or anything like that. So I'm in the thermals again tonight. But again, it is what it is. Well, with that, I think the next footage you should see would be me seeing a do in the morning and the trip back to the house. Well, we'll see you guys in the morning. Have a good night. Good morning. It's about quarter to seven right now. And everyone's still sleeping next to me in the two sites, so I have to be quiet. But I'm actually already starting to pack up. I'm just going to throw everything in the van. I'm just going to fold the tent up nice, just throw it in. I have some stuff down the bottom there on a towel. It's just got to get put away. But this greenhouse and the tent just get folded up, thrown in. I got some stuff over here ready to go in. And it's just going to lay here. <laughs> Just gonna chuck it in and get out of here. Uh, unfortunately, last night there was a couple groups in the park here that were very loud, and I couldn't sleep. It was kind of a rough night last night. Usually I have no problem out here, but for some reason I just had a hard time falling asleep last night. I got up, it was like one o'clock in the morning. I walked up to the bathhouse, and there was still people just laughing and having a great time which is good for them but they tell you a quiet time starts at 10 o'clock they should have really uh simmered down a little bit i mean i don't care whatever it's a friday night not a big deal but um i can hear the neighbors on both sides of me here kind of you know like saying, shut up come on guys be quiet like you could hear them not that they could hear what we were saying they're you know on the other side of the park but it was just one of those things that people were getting upset about it and like, yeah, likewise, you know, the one guy was out here screaming, just going, yeah, yeah, in the middle of the night, yeah, do it, yeah. And I was like, what are you guys doing? Go to bed. Anyway. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to uh, put the camera up in the front of the car. We'll get the trip home, uh, as I promised. We'll do another time lapse. I'm going to go home, take a shower, and go to bed for a little bit before I have to go out and see the show later. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.